Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will talk a bit about tool ammo, ammunition from Russia, steel case ammunition that we see here in that box. It's in a spam cam, it's made in Russia, and I just got that from the local grocery store in USA where they sell ammunition no problem at all everything is legal everything is fine how it should be now first we're gonna open up the the box with our Swiss Army knife see how it looks inside I already had a bit of peep at the at the store how that looks inside I had to ask if there is is that in a box or how is that and uh, there we got it that that is in spam cans and it's a bit tough to take out of the cardboard box then we have here the opener as well to the box it tells us it's a uh, 500 rounds 0.223 Remington, that's 5.56 NATO, the civilian version, it's uh, pretty good how they how they put on uh, hunting cartridges, funny, 223 Remington, it's a full metal jacket, uh, they even have on the side the, I need quick to flatten it out, then you see that what I'm laughing at I have to reach around a bit uh, the camera so that is how that is now the, the box is flat and here is why I did laugh at uh, as I say I got it from the local grocery store and uh, they just got that by mail as well and uh, yeah it's a 55 grain full metal jacket in a in a tin that's the, the spam can the tool print on the box is all the same uh, the price currently on this one we show that too that's a pretty good price plus uh, taxes in Georgia of course taxes are not that that much then we have the opener a uh, typical opener it's easier to use openers like this I actually did uh, wrap one of them one of them a bit with a cord and uh, and a bit of uh, a tape to have a bit more of a handle that one is the the used one it's absolute the same I also drilled a hole into the handle there to hook it on a nail on the wall on the bench so I gonna use the the used one the new one I gonna keep maybe I put it on gun broker so how to open the can we have on the lower side on the bottom side we see that is a sheet metal press stamped and pressed formed the sides and then on top of the side we have the rim that that is like a, a food can put together and uh, this one just have a sticker usually the military version has a bit of a painting on it and uh, yeah we never know what is in it who uh, knows and uh, for therefore I always open up those those spam cans to see what actually is in it and uh, put it into US ammunition cans the 30 caliber or the 50 or the, the fat 50 ones depending on what it is how uh, much the size is 
because the US ammunition cans are unlike the Russian or Eastern ones with a, with a hinge so you can open the lid the lid has a rubber sealing so you can open and close as many times as you wish and this ones once it's open it's open you can't uh, put it back together anymore and uh, on YouTube you see videos the people open that that uh, cans with all kinds of devices even some angle grinder but uh, be careful it's ammunition in there if you grind into the ammunition that could go boom so it's better to use the opener and what you do is you have the rim you have here on the side the rim stands a bit over and here you have the other part that stands over as well I hope the camera see that so the rim needs to go here and then the cutting part which is here with the point that sticks into the can I'm gonna show this as best as I can we see over the rim it hooks in and then you go down now for the first for the first uh, time it may make a bit of sound yes that is that the air is already out and then you see I just do it like with the tuna can and the Swiss army knife you do that all the way around or at least on one side that you can open up the flap the thin metal there and take out the ammunition as I need to grab a bit around the camera I gonna do that a bit on the side yeah we are still on the camera that's good the curve is a bit more of a trouble but if you use the can opener that usually comes with the spam can and make sure you get one otherwise it's really a trouble the first ones that I got were coming without that opener I could open it because I do a lot of metal work but still it's way 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 easier to use the opener to open that thing up it's safer as well not uh, like with an angle grinder or a device like that and you see it works pretty pretty fast once you do it I open up the whole thing later as I use the, the the top sheet it's gonna be pretty much later maybe we use it as a target I don't know yet but uh, the bucket part that is pretty good durable it's also coated inside and uh, has a bit of paint on it so I'm gonna use the bucket part for other projects as well it's not a litter we hardly have any litter that's for start the fire then we have the ammunition how oh, they even use those <laughs> those funny fabric pieces they use that in the military ammunition as well maybe we can use that as a tinder and then we have the regular the regular uh, boxes in there it's not as tight packaged as with the military ammunition military the military ammunition packages were designed more that it fits that is just just uh, the regular cardboard box we're gonna open one up we see the 556 steel K 
case. It's a full metal jacket, no steel core in there. And also we see they are not sealed. It's civilian ammunition that is not sealed. The how to seal the ammunition with nail polish, the most easy way. I did make a video that is in my Swiss Bianco YouTube channel. So have a look how to make it even better for storage. The box itself, just a regular Tula ammunition box, nothing special. I like the the holder, that plastic part, that is pretty pretty nice made, inexpensive, but well would even go in the pocket. Yeah. Now I speak a couple words in uh, German just for our German friends and Swiss friends. Hi German, I'm gonna, gonna do just explaining a bit how that is in USA about ammunition and all that and how it should be over in Europe as well. Uh, die Leute die Deutsch verstehen kommen jetzt ein bisschen zum Zuge. Diese Schachtel voller Munition habe ich gerade so eben hier in den USA im Supermarkt gekauft. Es ist Sturmgewehrmunition und es ist alles legal hier in den USA. Man kann diese einfach so kaufen. Es sind 500 Schuss. Diese Munition hier ist in, Russia, in Russland gemacht worden, Tula. Und im Prinzip nichts Besonderes. Es ist ein normaler Vollmantel normale Vollmantelpatrone und äh, Stahlhülse relativ günstig, deshalb habe ich es gekauft. Es ist Munition zum Brauchen, zum Training und äh, wie gesagt, hier in den USA ist es vollkommen legal und normal. Es ist ein normales Geschäft. Der äh, Walmart, dort kann man eigentlich alles kaufen, was es gibt. Die haben auch die dazugehörenden Gewehre vor Ort, zum Beispiel die Jahr 15 und das ist so, wie es für freie Menschen sein sollte und nicht wie es derzeit in der Schweiz, in Deutschland und in Österreich ist. Alles, was ich dazu sagen kann, ist, dass ich mein Leben in den USA in vollsten Zügen genieße und die schrecklichen Zeiten von früher so gut wie möglich vergessen werde und das ist eigentlich auch alles. Yeah, to come back to the, the English part, that's pretty much about it. Prior I get the uh, sad feelings about Switzerland, I gonna seal up the ammunition and then put it in a different, in the US military box, in the ammo can, so it's safe and ready for using and for storage. Uh, for the people in USA, those who still are free, you can be really happy that that is like that. Like in, in Germany, Switzerland, uh, Austria and many other places, we could never do like this. Uh, even some, some areas in USA, like California, you could not buy ammunition like by Walmart, as best as I know of. And uh, that's already a shame. For free people, this is a shame. But uh, that much about the opening of the spam cam can from the tool ammunition. Great price, pretty good quality. Of course, it's not brass case ammunition, but at least it shoots.